when the aircraft is operating at altitude, the outside air temperature will be you know, somewhere in the region of minus 55 degrees Celsius at an altitude of 36, 37,000 feet. And you know, if the outside air temperature is minus 55, we can assume that the, the fuel is going to be uh, quite cold also. And the problem is that when the fuel gets from the tank here to the uh, fuel nozzles, uh, we need to increase the temperature of the fuel because the flash point of Jet A1 is around 40 degrees Celsius. So we need to try and increase the temperature uh, towards the 40 degrees Celsius. The other uh, reason for heating the fuel is uh, if we heat it, it will become less dense and it means the spray pattern we would get out of the nozzles would be a finer spray pattern. You know, if we had cold oil it wouldn't vaporize uh, as well and we wouldn't get as good a fuel oil, sorry, fuel air uh, mix here in the combustion can. So we want to try and increase the pressure, or sorry, the temperature of the fuel from whatever it is here in the tank up to something a lot warmer uh, as it comes into the uh, combustion can. So <clears throat> that's one problem. The second thing is the bearings are somewhere, say, here, here, you know, maybe here, here. And um, particularly in this part of the engine, you know, the the hot gases are coming out through the turbine, so the engine is actually quite quite warm here, and the shaft is rotating at a very high RPM. So there's a lot of heat being generated in the in the bearings. So the the oil then will be sprayed onto the bearings, and the, the oil then will absorb uh, that heat. So cool oil goes onto the, the bearings to keep the bearings cool and keep them lubricated, but then the the oil then becomes hot. But we need to cool that oil down again. So we want to cool our oil and yet we want to increase our fuel uh, temperatures. So we can do both of those things with a fuel oil heat exchanger. So with a fuel oil heat exchanger we have coal fuel coming from uh, the, the fuel tank. So it comes into the engine and into the heat exchanger and it passes through some uh, pipes inside the heat exchanger. We also have uh, warm oil coming in. So the oil comes in and it flows over the cool fuel lines. And as the warm oil passes over the cool fuel, the oil gets cooler and the fuel gets warmer. So we can see with the colors here, uh, the temperature gradient in, in the fuel. So the fuel goes from cold to hot and the oil goes from warm to cold. So the oil passes over the, the pipes and then back out through, uh, through the, the oil return line. So it's a win-win situation. We get our fuel heated and we get our oil cooled. And that is the purpose of the fuel oil, oil heat exchanger.